Jason Halloran, how are we? I'm really good, thanks. How are you? Oh, struggling on, you know. <laughs> Where are you? Are you, okay? up, are you up in deepest Lincolnshire or somewhere else? Yeah, so we're about uh, we're about five miles south of Lincoln, um, just in a in a little village. So um, so yeah, it's been been not so bad for us to be fair. We're out in the sticks a little bit, and um, and yeah, it's been been fairly fairly quiet a couple of months really. Of course, you should have been racing by now. So what what have you been doing in the meantime? Oh man, what a crazy couple of months, eh? Like um, you know, we we got back from Spain pre-season testing, and then. Everything was sort of like, when we come back from our last trip, I think we were at Almeria and it was sort of all sort of kicking off at that point. No one really knew what was going to happen after that. Um, and then, uh, and then yeah, just everything stopped. So all getting ready to go racing and then, um, and then bang, smack in the face, everything stopped. So, um, you know, I've, I've just been keeping doing my thing. Like, you know, when you put, you put a lot of effort into a pre-season, you don't really want to waste it and, and let it all slip away. So you just sort of keep, keep chipping away at it and keep doing your thing and you know like at the start we didn't really know how long it was going to last for and then um you know bloody hell we're what three months into it now so it's uh yeah a bit of a bit of a mad old time for everyone eh? how was pre-season testing it seemed like you were there or thereabouts with the bike yeah like you know pre-season testing from this year was a little bit different um you know last year i sort of went there all guns blazing and everything was cool and more fast and all the rest of it um and uh you know this year i just sort of eased into it um you know took my time with it uh you know we had a new bike so i wanted to learn about that um and just sort of just sort of cruise along with it really and, and sort of have a sort of building phase rather than a, a peak phase you know so um i just just sort of done my thing didn't really bother about uh anyone else and just uh made sure i was comfortable and by the end of it, I was comfortable. I felt I felt pretty good. Um, you know, I was looking forward to coming back to the to the British tracks and, and seeing how the bike went um, over here because, you know, we found some some good positive things with it in Spain. But Spain's always a little bit odd. You know, like some things work there and some things don't work here for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, I felt I felt good. I felt comfortable. I felt like I was in a good place. Um, and yeah, now we've got to now we've got to start all over again. Really, like God, we've had the you know, such a long period off the bike now that, um, you, know, you know, all that pre-season testing is sort of like, it's not, you know, I wouldn't say it's lost, but everyone's starting from scratch again, you know, you've, you've got your settings on the bike, but, you know, as a, as a rider, you need to keep riding and we've obviously not been able to do that. So, um, you know, it'll take a, take a few days to get back into it. What, uh, what have been the biggest differences between last year's bike and this year's bike? Um, the, you know, the bike is similar, but, um, you know, it's it's certainly got a little bit more power than last year's bike. Um, it revs a bit harder, you know, like, um, you know, that was one of our things last year. Um, you know, we, we can rev the bike a bit more and we've got a little bit more speed to hopefully get a little bit closer to, to them, um, you know, them red bikes and that silver bike. So, um, fingers crossed we're a bit closer on that front. Um, you know, we've got a little bit different aero package, which hopefully is going to help with our wheelie a little bit. Um, and also the, the character of the engine, hopefully that helps with the wheelie a bit as well. So, um, you know, also not so much changing from, from old model to new model, but we've got parts that we didn't have last year. Like at the end of last year, we got a new fuel tank, we got a new swinging arm, but we didn't use the tank and we, and we didn't use a, a few other things. So that got added to the bike um, for this, this year's pre-season testing and they, and they were all, you know, good improvements. So, um, you know, overall, we've got a, got a good, like, to be fair, last year we had a good package, it was just injured for most of the year, you know, so um, we've got a better motorbike again than what we had last year, and, and you know, I'm back to, back to normal, so that's going to be the biggest difference. Well, I hope you would have hoped that this year would have been slightly better than the start of last year. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, you know, it was, uh, you know, start of last year was good, we had good pre-season, you know, first round was pretty good, and then all sort of, you know, fell apart, and, um, you know, it's hard when you're, you know, this championship's hard enough when you're, when you're fit and everything's going your way, you know, when you're, when you're up against it and you've got a handicap, it's, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty thankless task, really. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be, to be fit, healthy, uh, you know, like this break, although it's been, you know, really bad in some circumstances, it's been good in others as in like, 
you know, when do you ever get a three or four month break to let your body just recover and heal and rest, you know? So it's, uh, I'm, yeah, body feels good. I've, I've, I've got rid of old injuries, you know, I've worked on, on injuries that I've not had a chance to work on for a long time because I've always been recovering from a recent injury, you know, so body's in good shape and feeling good. So yeah, feel, feel refreshed and recharged and, um, you know, quite happy at the minute. So yeah, really rock and roll. How is the uh, relationship with Taz? With who? Taz. Oh, Taz. Yeah, good. Um, yeah. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's water under the bridge now. We've got to, you know, we've got to get on with it. And um, you know, naturally, you, you're going to have. Um, you know, last year was was a, a difficult thing. You know, because you move. You know, I've been with one manufacturer and one team for so long. Um, and then it's such a big decision to change. And then, you know, it's all sort of looking, looking cool and rosy. And then it sort of, you know, crumbles. And it's a, it's a hard thing to, to accept, you know. But, um, you know, we're, we're good now. We, we, we get on well. Um, you know, the, the atmosphere within the team is good. You know, so that, that's, a, that's a positive thing. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, if we want to challenge the Ducatis, we have to work together because, you know, they, they showed how dominant they were last year. And, if we want to have a chance of beating them guys, then, you know, two heads are better than one, you know. So we have to, we have to maximise our bike to, the, to its potential, which I don't feel that we've, we've fully done yet. Um, and if we can do that, then, you know, the best man's going to win out of us two. But um, if we can get the best out of our motorbike, then, then that would be a good start. What, when, you, when you trudged back into your garage in Silverstone last year after you'd been removed from your motorbike by your team... <laughs> What happened? Oh, mate. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you go? Did you go into your side of the lorry and sulk? Did you sit in the corner? Did you pick up the biggest fan you could find and head for him? What What went on? Everybody wants to um, know. Nobody's ever asked. To, <laughs> to be honest, it was really odd because I didn't really feel like I had five minutes to myself, and. Um, you know, like I uh, obviously I had the crash, and then I had a bit of a wobbly, you know, off the side of the track, which sort of got most of it out of my system. That and then I had a really, I had a really long walk. You know, I didn't get a taxi bike back. I walked back, and it doesn't seem that far. You know, the the last corner of Silverstone to the pit box, but it is if you're walking. You know, it's quite quite a way. Mm. And um, you know, all all the grandstand was going mad, which obviously made you feel quite good. Um, and then uh, and then I got back to the box and just sort of walked straight through the box to the truck. And, uh, you know, had a bit of a wobbly in there. And then, and then I had people around me all the time. There was people coming in and out. And, and the next thing I knew, I was on my way to see uh, Stuart, you know, because uh, Steve had come and got me and said, um, you know, we, we have to go and see uh, Stuart. He's called us up to the, to the meeting room. And uh, so I, I didn't really have that much of a chance to digest anything, you know. It was just sort of straight in there. And, and I was in there, obviously, with Taz there, Steve there, Stuart there new team for me, you know, involved with new sponsors and didn't really want to look like a tit. You know, I wanted to just sort of get through it the best I could. And, you know, at that point, because, because I, was, I was obviously feeling so good on the bike at that point, uh, I, I was ready for race two. You know, I was just, I was just determined to win race two. And, uh, and then obviously I broke down. So it was, um, yeah, it was just a, a weekend that could have been so good. That was, uh, yeah, probably one of the worst that I'd really... <laughs> And it was, I mean, it kind of, it did set a bit of a tone for you. You ended up being injured for a lot of the year. It would, it, yep. it kind of, was it a bit of a wasted season? Or did, yeah, did, absolutely. Were, 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 did you learn enough last year in between the injury to, to make a difference going into this season? Or was it, was it basically a write-off? Uh, no, I think we can take, we can take a lot of things from last year. Obviously, the biggest thing that I take from last year, not about bikes or me or, or, or one thing or another, is that I was I was finishing sort of like between fifth and seventh, really handicapped, you know. So I, I always felt like, you know, if 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 I could just get fit and healthy, then then I can get more out of the bike and get more out of myself, and all of a sudden we're going to be quite close, you know. Because at the end of the day, no, you know, no one no one cares how hurt you are, but you know personally how how hurt you are and how much it's affecting you. And, uh, you know, like, for, for, being, for being in the position I was, I wasn't really that far away. Um, so I take that from last year. And, I, you know, going from the Honda to the Yamaha, it's quite different. You know, like, um, even just silly things like, um, 
you know, at some tracks you're in a completely different gear on the Yamaha to what you are on the Honda. Mm. And, you know, when, you know, I had so many gears on that Honda that, you know, that's sort of ingrained in you. And when you're going through a weekend, like we had a, the middle part of the year there was quite tricky for me. I was missing a bit of track time and, um, you know, trying to figure out the bike at a, at a track that I'd not ridden it at. And uh, it takes some time. So going into this year, I've, I've, I know all that. You know, I, I've, I've ridden the bike at every track. I didn't miss any races. Although I was injured in the year, I didn't miss any races because of it. I kept sort of pushing through it. So that that will put us in good stead for this year. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm relaxed. I'm, I'm calm. You know, I'm, uh, I'm sort of going under the radar a little bit. You know, I don't really think people are expecting too much, which is a good thing. Um, some people obviously are, but a lot of people will be thinking about other guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we can surprise a few. The, the move away from Honda, was that your decision or their decision or both? Or I think, uh, you know, I had the option to stay uh, for last year, for 2019. Um, you know, I spoke to Harv and, and to Honda and, and the option was there to stay again. Um, but I, I just, I think it just run its course, you know, like um, if, if the new bike they had now had come out, a year or two ago, I'd probably, you know, I probably still would have been there, you know, like I just sort of got to a point where I needed to, I needed to test myself on something else. And, um, you know, the, the team there was fantastic. I got on with everyone, you know, it didn't, it wasn't anything like that that, that made me want to leave. I just wanted to ride something different and see if I could do any better really. And, um, you know, it's hard because when you look at different championships around the world, when I was on the Honda, you look at world Superbike or, you know, Moto America or whatever championship it is, BSB, and, and you're sort of doing the best job you can and, and no one else around the world was really doing any better. You sort of feel like, you know, could I, can I do better than this if I was running something else or is that where I'm at? Or you just don't know. So you, you've got to have to, you have to get to a point where you, you're willing to trust your own ability and, and sort of have a go. And in the past, I've never really had the opportunity, you know, like the Honda deal was there and I was always happy to stay there. But the, all the other seats were always taken, you know, like Shaky was always at PBM or Josh was on the Yamaha or, you know, like all the seats were always filled full. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was, a, it was an opportunity that came up that Josh was obviously leaving um, and uh, the door opened. So I went, yeah, let's uh, <laughs> dive into the deep end and see what happens. I mean, the, the fire blade was never the easiest thing to ride, was it? No, it was, you know, it was hard. It was a hard thing to ride, but... You know, you know, for me, again, like on the Honda, like it was the only thing I knew. I'd never ridden anything else. So, you know, like as far as superbikes go, I'd only ever ridden a Honda. So, um, although it was tricky to ride or, you know, maybe some other bikes had, had strengths and weaknesses and whatever, it was all I knew. So that was a positive thing about me riding that bike because I didn't know any different. Um, and, uh, you know, I always felt like we got the best out of it. Like my last year there, 2018, I think, disappointing because I got hurt. Um, and, you know, the race before I got hurt, I, I raced Leon, you know, Haslam all the way to the line. Like, we were a tenth apart at, at Alton. So, you know, we had, we had good pace at times. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. And going into 2020, you're going to have maybe six to eight rounds. Maybe six, eight. Well, you might get, I don't know how many races, 12, 15 races. Is that enough to make a dent in expectations this year? Or do, do you really want to wait for a full proper season in 21? Um, you know, I think it's enough. You know, I think whatever, you know, whatever the organisers, whatever Stuart and, and his team come up with, I think will be, you know, we're all going to be happy with. If there was a point in the year there where, where no one really thought we might have been doing anything, you know. So I think if we can, if we can do some racing, that'll be good. Um, which obviously looks like at the moment we are, go we are going to do that. Um, and, you know, from my point of view, it, it's the same for everyone. It's in like if there's, if there's 10 races or if there's 20 races, it's, a, you know, if they're going to call it a championship and that's, that's 100% of the championship that you've got, then that's, that's what we've got. So um, at the end of it, you know, in a year or two time, no, no one, if, if you're pretty super white champion this year, no one's going to remember that it was only 10 races or only 15 races. They'll just remember the person that won it. So, um, you know, I, I think it's okay. I think it's cool. I think um, as long as we get out there and start turning some wheels, we'll, be, we'll all be happy, I think.